differently abled, differently. Welcome back, and you are watching Abled Differently. Kenyatta University had their 12th Disability Day Awareness on the 25th of March. Take a look. On the 25th March 2022, Kenyatta University was for the 12th time celebrating Disability Awareness Day. So we are grateful to God for this opportunity even in Kenyatta University to celebrate our 12th Disability Awareness Day. We don't take it for granted because it's brought us this far. Dr. Mbugwa Wamungai, the Director of Disability Services at Kenyatta University, spoke to us at length on the relevance of marking the day that was themed inclusion through sports. We realize that uh, people with disability do not often have enough opportunities uh, to participate in sporting activities. And even when they do have opportunities to those uh, sports activities, they are not inclusive. So the whole idea is to use albinism as one of the categories of disability to s demonstrate to people that it is possible to include people with disabilities in meaningful sports participation. And why albinism? Because people often assume that if you invite these people out to events in the sun, our outdoor activities, their skin will be scalded and uh, they are going to have all sorts of problems. So we wanted to show that that is not true. That is why, for example, we have uh, long-sleeved long t-shirts for people with albinism uh, taking part in the sports uh, activities today so that they are protected from the sun. The day that has been celebrated in the past while focusing on inclusion in other areas was this time round centered on sports to ensure the exposure of Paralympians to the outside world. It's a cycling event using the quad bikes, uh, that is bikes that can take people uh, uh, with disabilities uh, because they have three, three wheels, there are three wheelers and people can uh, choose whichever uh, bike suits their purpose. Uh, is it one that enables you to use your legs? Is it one that enables you to use your hands only? Is it one that enables you to have a cycling guide? Greg Milano, the director of the Inclusive Cycling International Organization and guest speaker at the event, shared with the audience why working in a diversified and inclusive space is something that he is passionate about. The strongest team is the diverse team. You know, the strongest team is not made up of people who are all the same. When, you, when you're picking the people to be on your soccer team, you don't pick 11 people who are really good at goalkeeping. You know, you pick a goalkeeper, you kip a, pick a striker, you pick a defender, you pick all these different people. And I really believe, I really know that it's the same for everything that we do in the world. I'm 100% convinced the strongest team is the diversity. According to Dr. Mbugwa, working with organizations to make the day a success was of utmost importance, and he mentioned some of the crucial roles played by the partners that came on board. We are very proud to say that over time, many organizations have come to partner with us in a bid to, include, to, to improve the way our students with the visual impairment, for example, participate in uh, different types of activities. Of course, for us here, the key activity is learning. So we have a, a number of uh, groups coming to work with us uh, to support uh, through technology. Uh, our students say with visual impairment, with hearing impairment, and see what it is that can be done to make the learning environment more accessible, more com uh, comfortable for them, and therefore more rewarding as a uh, uh, an endeavor uh, for these students. We were using today's event, cycling event, to show that people with disabilities can create uh, partnerships with others outside the, the KU community uh, because they won't live here forever. They'll complete their academic programs, they'll graduate and go and live in communities. These are the kinds of collaborations we want to, uh, to see them developing. 
Um, I am also aware of the potential of sports, not just to help people integrate uh, meaningfully in, com in the community or in communities where they live, but also as an empowering activity for individuals. Uh, you can imagine what it means for someone to take part in the Paralympic Games, just on account of the fact that they are good at sports, uh, the glory that comes with it. But also, more importantly, you can earn a living out of that. So that we wanted our students to see that it's possible to combine academics and activities outside class and to make a meaningful contribution to society as you earn a living. The United States of America Embassy was pleased to be part of an inclusive event organized by the Kenyatta University as it rallied behind the Cycling Sports Initiative. It's a great pleasure to be here today at Kenyatta University at their 12th annual um, Disability Awareness Day to introduce our program that we're co-sponsoring with Inclusive Cycling International, a U.S.-based NGO, to bring inclusive cycling to Kenya. Um, I, I think if I understand correctly, the inclusive cycling team came here in 2018 uh, in conjunction with the Mandela Washington Fellowship. Uh, they came here to meet some of the, the engaging young African leaders they met on the Mandela Washington Fellowship. And now they're here again, uh, also working with the great uh, uh, Mandela Washington alumni that we have here in Kenya. The Inclusive Cycling International had a week or so to engage in sporting events happening in different locations in the country, after which it intends to leave behind bikes for the benefit of the Kenyatta University cycling community. They will leave some of the bicycles here in Kenya for people to use and hopefully maybe we can find ways in the future um, or work with partners here to develop even more opportunities for inclusive cycling in Kenya. After the cycling experience, Stephen was motivated to join Paralympics if only the partners moving forward would provide the required sporting equipment. This is my first time cycling this, this machine. So I was very, uh, very, very happy. I enjoyed cycling around and interacting with so many people. It was very, very nice, and I'm really grateful to the, uh, to the organizations that have sponsored this event and even the university management for giving us such opportunity. You know, we feel part of the society. To the organizers, I can say they should continue with that uh, motive. Um, they should continue motivating us by giving us these, uh, these, uh, these machines. In fact, I would appeal to them to give us our own machines, like the, if they can donate them to us. Because you see, um, as I've told you, this is my first time cycling them. So now you can see the joy. Uh, so if they can continuously be there for us, we can, we can continue uh, using them and even uh, practicing to go to uh, uh, international competition games. Milton Ilahuya, a college student who plays wheelchair basketball, was part of the cycling team and acknowledged the importance of having such sophisticated cycling equipment made available in the country. All I can say is thank you for the donors, first of all. These wheelchairs they've, they've brought us to us, they are very good wheelchairs as, as you can see, they are fast. Uh, most of us haven't seen such kind of wheelchairs actually. So I guess to us it's a very good experience and we urge them to continue bringing more and we are very grateful. Jackie Maura participated for the first time and represented the female gender for the day. She encouraged her peers not to fear trying it out. The experience today has been amazing, being my first time cycling. My message to them is to not give up, keep trying and doors open when you keep trying. Dr. Mbugwa encouraged more partners to continue coming in as he acknowledged both the short-term and long-term impact such partnerships have. One of the important things we have been able to achieve over the years that we've been having our Disability Awareness Days is to have corporate employers come to attend our events. And uh, we have actually gotten uh, our students engaged by some of those employers. Um, people are given internship opportunities and beyond that, 
they are actually recruited to work for for those organizations. So th these, in a sense, have been uh, marketing forums where uh, corporates come, they meet up with our students, they are introduced, they get to understand what we do, and uh, they strike, uh, you know, um, collaborations. Let's take a look at the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Article 25 of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities states that state parties shall, Part B, provide those health services needed by persons with disabilities, specifically because of their disabilities, including early identification and intervention as appropriate, and services designed to minimize and prevent further disabilities, including among children and older persons. There is a gap that we need to fill as the business community and as even startups. We need to realize the space of uh, persons with disabilities is equally important as the space of any other person. I'm afraid that's where we end for today, but be sure to join us every other Sunday for more insightful episodes on Able Differently. My name is Jane Theory. Goodbye. We are here and we are strong let's be counted as we move on make a difference change lives as we tell our different stories we are capable beautiful we are born to do great things we're unstoppable Incredible, cause we're differently abled, differently.